hello everyone so in today's tutorial um i'll be teaching you guys how to use the dart data class generator extension in vs code and if you haven't come across it so oh, it's a very nice extension that you must have and in this video i'll show you why it's very useful so let's get right into the video so let's say you are working on an e-commerce website and um, you have a list of products um, which when the user taps on it you take um, that user to the product details page right so um, in the product details page this wants to be a, um, an empty scaffold this can be a complicated um, screen depending on what you are building but what you normally do is you will require something in the constructor right so you would want the images or the description or some data to be passed to the product details page and in most cases we would have to declare um, those data so for instance i would want the id um, to be a string i want the name uh, i want the description so description and also i want something like um, image right so after writing this you would have to uh, manually write them in the constructor so record them in the constructor now this is where um, that data class generator extension becomes very helpful so you go to your extensions tab in vs code and then you look for that data class generator right so this is the extension i'm talking about currently it has over 58,000 downloads and then you install it now after installing all that you need is to just have um your fields declared so something like this and then you see a light bulb so when you hover on any of the declared fields you see a light bulb you can tap on this light bulb or press um control or command and full stop and you see this quick fix which says generate constructor so if i'm if i tap on this generate constructor this is automatically going to require these fields in my product details page right so i wouldn't have to come and write require this dot id require this dot name require this dot description right and this is a very um, handy um, extension right because we mostly require things in our constructor right so you'll be requiring data in your constructor now what if it's not something like this but we are working with a class right so i've created this class over here called product and a product may have an id um a name a description and then an image and a same for these two so i would want to generate a constructor all right so you just press on the light bulb and now you have more options than just generating a constructor all right so you can generate json serialization which you normally do with um an external package like json serializer right or any other package that will help you with json serialization but this package has it or this extension has it out of the box right so the first thing i want to do is to generate the constructor and when i tap on it it automatically generate this constructor for me now i can generate other things as well so you want to generate to map from map to json and all those kind of cool stuff so you can just tap on it and i'll choose generate json serialization right so if i tap on this realize i have my to map from map to json and then from json right so based on um the fields you've set up it's still going to generate this for you and if we change any of the fields so for instance if i add other for call rating um all i have to do is to generate a constructor again and then also generate the json serialization again and it automatically fixes um all these errors right now if you want to also generate um copyright and other things you can generate copyright right so this will generate a copyright for you or if you want um to generate uh, class comparison right so if you want to compare your classes you can either use the equitable package or this um extension so you can generate equality as well and this will automatically do the comparison for you so it will override the um, identical operator it will write the 
um, hash code and everything for you right so this is a very handy extension um, that if you are using VS code and you are good in that or flutter i would recommend you install right so if you like this video um, leave a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one